Hey, it's Red Lace, and today I'm going to show you where to find all the items for the fish tank in the community center in Stardew Valley on the PC. So if we head inside, the fish tank is right in the entrance to the right. So I'm going to go through these locations for these items pretty quickly for each bundle, so if you want to pause, feel free to do that so you can grab all this information. The first one is the lake fish bundle, and you'll need a largemouth bass, a carp, a bullhead, a sturgeon, and you'll be rewarded with a dressed spinner for your fishing pole. The next one is the River Fish Bundle. You'll need a Sunfish, Catfish, Shad, and Tiger Trout, and you'll be rewarded with 30 bait. Next is the Ocean Fish Bundle. You'll need a Sardine, a Tuna, a Red Snapper, Tilapia, and you'll be rewarded with 5 Warp Totems to the Beach. Next is the Specialty Fish Bundle, which is a Pufferfish, Ghostfish, Sandfish, and Woodskip, and you'll receive 5 Dish of the Sea. Next is the Night Fishing Bundle, which is a Walleye, a Bream, and an Eel, and you'll be rewarded with a small Glow Ring. Next is the Crab Pot Bundle, and this one you'll only need 5 of the items, so half, and you'll need a Lobster, a Crayfish, Crab, Cockle, Mussel, Shrimp, Snail, Periwinkle, Oyster, and a Clam, and you'll be rewarded with 3 Crab Pots. And again, you only need 5 of these items. So if we go ahead and turn in our last item on the specialty fish bundle, all I was missing was the sand fish. So I turn that in and I finish my last bundle. So now the bundle's complete and I'm rewarded with my five dish of the sea. Click OK. And it's Rise of the Junimos. <laughs> so many wonderful bundles. Thank you, thank you. And now the fish tank is complete, so everything's all nice and new, and uh, the little Junimo is running to his little hut where he's going to retrieve another gold star for us and uh, add it to our collection on the mantle, so that makes our fourth bundle completed out of the six. So that is uh, how you finish the fish tank in the community center. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and proceed to show you the reward in the cutscene for finishing the fish tank. If you'd like to stop now, please do so. I don't want to spoil anything. Otherwise, we will continue on. So after you've slept for the night, the next day you will want to head up towards the mountains, and you'll want to go towards the mines and the bridge that is right before you get to the mines. So we're going to head up now, and a cutscene will be triggered. Hi, Red Lace. It's odd. I'm not sure what caused this boulder to disappear. And there was a glistening boulder there, if you recall. The stream is flowing from deep within the mountain. Hey, do you see that glistening in the water? Yes, that's quality ore. The flow of water must be carrying it out of the mountain. You know what this means, right? It means we can start panning for ore. Here, I've got an extra pan in my backpack. Why don't you take it? If you ever see any glistening in the water, use that pan and see what you find. So you've now received a pan, so now you can pan for ore anytime you see the little glistening spots in the water. So that's how you find all the items for the fish tank in the community center in Stardew Valley. Thank you for watching, and please subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, and watch me live on Twitch, all at Red Lace Gaming.